I ordered the EM5 Mark III, which I should be getting tomorrow, but I already got the grip in the mail, so why bother making a video of the grip if I don't have the actual camera? Well, because I have a burning question about it, and maybe you do too. This is the original EM5, which is the original grip, which I think makes a huge difference. This is basically the best grip, best handling camera I've ever used. And you can see where it puts the uh, thumb and finger dials in a really great place, so I really love that. So I ordered it for the new one. I handled the camera without the grip a little bit at BNH, and I really feel like this will make a big difference, and I want it. Uh, there's just one big problem with the old one. And so the question I have is, in this time, has Olympus developed whole technology? Let me show you what I mean. So, the bad part about this grip is that every time I want to change a battery, which on a mirrorless camera is kind of often, I shoot a lot of bands, so if there's a few bands, we're going to be changing the battery at least once, which is an acceptable trade-off, you know, small machines, small power source, that's just the way it is. So, every time I have to unscrew this thing, and then take out the battery. So there's no hole here to access the battery uh, like there is on other grips that uh, are aftermarket and don't have the dial on it. So let's see now if the new one has it. Of course, I could have already opened this and looked and you would never know. <laughs> so let's see. And... Nope. Thanks, Olympus. So apparently they couldn't figure out a way or didn't think it was necessary to make a door here to get to the battery, which means I have to go through this again. Um, so maybe you might want an aftermarket grip that has the hole, but I really like having the dial there. So I'm a sucker, so I'm going to stick with it. Um, I mean, I could always send it back, but I don't think I will. Um, it really helps the handling. So, uh, I mean, there's not much I can say about this when it's not connected to the camera um, as compared to the old one. And again, this is the original one, not the one from the Mark II. This is the Mark I. And... Um, I mean, it does, it does feel a little bit more premium. It's got a nice rubber bottom here. And I think this is what the new OMD basically is, sort of premium but plastic. So, uh, I mean, it does feel really nice and really, really light. Um, I mean, about the same as the original, but it's bigger. Um, I'm not super crazy about this dial, though. Uh, the dial, uh, I think, is metal. And the shutter button, just like it is on the camera, like I said, I had some time to play with it. The shutter button's a little flat, like there's not a lot of travel for half shutter, so... Um, but we'll see when it's attached to the other camera, but no hole. Did I mention it was 170 bucks? Oh.